so one thing I'll admit is that a thick, healthy lawn is still susceptible to the occasional weed invasion. And I'm not immune to that myself. I've got several different kinds of weeds coming through the yard in various places, not completely covered in weeds, but here and there, there's a few weeds. And I'm gonna take some time today to go ahead and spray those and get rid of them. And I wanna show you uh, what product I love to use, and that is my go-to product, and how I go about treating all the weeds that come through the yard. So pump sprayers like this will work just fine, they'll get the job done. Uh, if you have a larger area and you're carrying this around uh, full of, uh, of product and water, two gallons, it is fairly heavy and that weight can weigh on you after a while. Uh, and of course pumping gets annoying. So I've since upgraded to a battery powered two gallon sprayer just for using for weed control. I use it to spray uh, around the perimeter of the house for uh, bug prevention, things like that. It works really great. Uh, lightweight, easy to use. Uh, this is the Sprayers Plus YT25E, two gallon battery powered sprayer. And I love this. I think it's a, it's worth the upgrade. Uh, it's worth a little bit extra cost compared to a manual sprayer. Uh, purely for the convenience of not having to pump anymore. Plus it has a really nice comfortable shoulder strap on here too. So you don't have to worry about um, carrying around the sprayer with you like the, the Chapin that I used to use. This can just ride on your shoulder and you can spray spray away. So as far as what you get with this, it's a pretty basic setup. Uh, you get the tank and the wand with a little battery and a charger. And then it comes with three different tips. It comes with the adjustable brass uh, cone-shaped tip, which is what I'm gonna use today. And it comes with two uh, fine mist tips that have different uh, outputs so it will put out more one will put out a little bit more uh, than the other and they're kind of like kind of like t-jet tips kind of fine mist tips and those have their purpose too for other applications but for this particular product that I'm going to be applying today it says not to use a fine mist tip so I'm going to go ahead and use this adjustable cone shaped tip uh, to be a little more uh, specifically targeting the weeds that I spray. Now my favorite go-to product uh, that I always keep on the shelf in the garage for spraying weeds in the lawn is Speed Zone. And this has honestly been one of my all-time favorite weed killers because it controls so much. There are four active ingredients in here which gives you a nice broad range of control for different kinds of weeds that could potentially show up. So things like dandelion and clover and um, thistle and bindweed all covered and I've got a little bit of this and a little bit of that around the yard um, primarily dandelion I'm seeing um, I do have a couple of spots of uh, bindweed and so I'm just gonna go ahead and and mix this up in the tank I'm only gonna do a gallon and I'm gonna follow the instructions on the label here like you should with any other product please even if you've used a product before just double check the label to make sure you haven't forgotten anything and just refresh yourself on their instructions here. So I'm gonna put about uh, one to one and a half ounces in this gallon and then I'm just gonna walk around my yard kind of in a grid pattern and as I see weeds as I walk around just give them a little zap of spray and we'll be good to go. All right, so with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up about one and a half ounces into a gallon here, and that should cover me for the weeds throughout my yard.
and just like that, all done. So now, we'll just wait a few days, a week or so, and uh, see how things turn out. Uh, keep in mind uh, to plan ahead for uh, spraying weeds. Uh, we need at least four hours, I'd say even more than that, just to be sure before uh, sprinklers or a rain event, uh, just to give the herbicide time to soak in and be absorbed by the weeds so that they can die. So keep that in mind, plan ahead a little bit. Uh, I love this thing. I will leave a link in the description if you wanna check it out, get a little bit more information. Uh, special thanks to Sprayers Plus for collaborating with me on this video and for uh, sending me this uh, to try out and uh, give you my thoughts on it. I really like this. Uh, really handy to have around. You don't need a four gallon backpack sprayer to spot spray weeds or to uh, spray around the perimeter of your house, in my opinion, at least not my house. Uh, I don't mix up any more than two gallons for stuff like that. So this is perfect and I hate pumping sprayers so I don't have to do that anymore. And it's just been awesome to use. I've been using it um, all season so far and I really like it. So. That's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was a helpful video for you. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.